Nick's family, what's poppin'? It's your boy. I want to talk about Frank Nilakina's five-minute stint last night. Did Fizdale single my man out? Some people agree, some people disagree. Let's talk. Before we even get into this conversation, let's look at the first five minutes of the game. We'll break it down together. We'll see what Frank did do, see what he didn't do. And then we'll come back and talk about it. Let's go. We're gonna follow Frank throughout this five minute clip and watch everything that he does. Frank has the ball in his hands. We're gonna see Dotson set a screen for Von Lay, for Frank. Now I wanna stop it right here. Because those two screens by Dotson, and I know this is off the topic of Frank Nilakina, but this is a prime example of the principles that I continue to preach. Let's go back and look at these two screens. Dotson goes to set a screen for Von Lay. Von Lay moves entirely too early. So guess what? The screen was ineffective. Then Dotson comes and sets the screen for Nilakina. Now, it's hard to say whether or not that was supposed to be a real screen or a slip screen. Okay, but he touched no one. That screen was by all purposes ineffective. Let's continue to roll the clip. Frank Nilakina dribbles to the top of the key, finds Hardaway. Hardaway finds Dotson. Dotson dribbles baseline. Finds Nilakina wide open for three. He misses. Off the missed shot, Frank picks up DJ Augustine. He denies him high. DJ Augustine goes back. Door gets the pass. Frank recovers. Augustine kicks it out. Swing for the three. Missed shot. Rebound Nilakina. Nilakina up the sideline. Passes it to Hardaway. Who pulls the three at the top of the key. Now, it can be debated. Was it a good three? Was it not a good three? It wasn't the greatest of shots in my opinion. But if it went down, I'll take it. He missed the shot. Frank Nilakina doesn't get an assist. If he knocks that down, Frank gets an assist, everybody's happy. Getting back to the clip, Fournier gets the rebound, advances the ball, Frank picks him up. Frank fights over the screen, something we've been harping on time and time again. That the Knicks guards gotta fight over the screen so that we do not switch and they get caught on the big man in the paint. Frank fights over the screen. Mitchell Robinson recovers to Vujovic. They find Vujovic in the post, easily scores over Mitchell Robinson. Why? Because he's stronger and he's bigger. That's okay. But Frank did his job fighting over the screen. You see Frank, after the Vujovic basket, he gets the screen from Von Lay, gets it back to Von Lay off the roll. We stop it right here. Let's rewind it. Let's look at it again. Frank gives the ball to Von Lay in the high post. Gets it back from Von Lay. Von Lay sets a screen for Frank. Frank goes off the screen. He finds Von Lay, who could have pulled up a mid-range shot, decided to take a dribble and go in. There were two defenders there. He loses the ball. If Von Lay goes up, takes the mid-range, hits the mid-range, that's assist number two for Frank Nilakina. As it is, he missed, no assist. The Orlando Magic break the other way. So now, let's take a look at this fast break. Because we all complain about the Knicks having energy and effort playing defense. Look at this clip. Frank Nilakina, he's guarding the ball handler on the break, charging at him. The ball handler kicks it out to Fournier. Nilakina doesn't stand and watch. He closes out on Fournier. Fournier made the shot, but Nilakina did his job. He played defense. The very thing that Fisdale, us as fans, said the Knicks needed in this game. Let's roll the tape. On the inbounds, the ball goes to Hardaway, pulls a tough pull-up jump shot, fadeaway pull-up jump shot. Frank's not even in the play. Again, we're down 5 nothing. Not a Nick has scored. Frank's taking one shot and missed it. Frank gets the ball from Mitchell Robinson off the block of DJ Augustine. Frank advances the ball, takes the Mitchell Robinson screen. That's a nice pull-up jump shot from the elbow. He just missed the shot. 
Again, we hope that he begins to make those consistently, but that's a nice shot. So Frank is 0 for 2 from the floor. But mind you, no one else on the team has made a shot either because we're down 5 to nothing. Now, what I want you to notice and pay attention is throughout this five minute stint, I don't think DJ Augustine took a shot. If he does, we'll see. Again, Frank Nilekina off the ball, Hardaway tries to hit Noah Vonley on a screen and roll, which was tipped by the Orlando Magic. The ball's going the other way. Frank guarding DJ Augustine full court. Fights over the screen once again. Cantor hustling to get back, just not fast enough. Again, Vujovic scores. Nah, he didn't score in the post. I believe that was an offensive foul. He hooked Cantor, but he had good position on Cantor. Uh, you know, it took a while for Cantor to get back. You can see he's he's slow getting back. He just doesn't have the speed. Running the offense. Now here, right there. Let's let's bring this back. Let's bring this back because we talk about Frank Nilakina scoring. And getting him into position to score. And we see right here, Frank was in position to post up DJ Augustine. And this right here is on Hardaway to recognize that Frank has the height advantage over DJ Augustine. And Frank has been successful scoring in the post. He doesn't have a ton of moves. But he does have a little fade away and he would have probably been able to back down DJ Augustine. What does Hardaway do? He swings it to Cantor at the top of the key, who, like I've been discussing for a while now, has Vujovic guarding him all the way down by the foul line. Why? Because he can't spread the floor. And if you recognize that, you'll see that any driving lanes are cut off by Vujovic. Anyway, that's off the topic. I just wanted to show that and point that out to you. Let the tape roll. Cantor hands it off to Dotson. Dotson back down to Cantor in the post. Vujovic knocks the ball from Cantor. Cantor at the top of the key. Back to Dotson, who tries to screen and roll with Cantor. Turnover. And on the fast break, the Orlando Magic, couple of offensive rebounds, nothing. Vonley initiates the break, finds Frank open for three. Again, wide open. We need Frank to make those. We hope in the future that he makes those more than not. Okay, but Frank is 0 for 3, but he hasn't hesitated on taking a shot that was available to him. Eight minutes and 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Frank picks up DJ Augustine who comes off of a slight screen by Vujovic. Cantor, kind of lost, comes out to the three-point shooter, puts a hand up, but it's a little bit too late. He was already wide open. The Knicks down 8 nothing. Frank, running offense, fires hard away. I mean, he finds him in a good spot. The Orlando Magic were just playing tough defense, and uh, Hardaway probably could have passed that back out and restarted the offense, but it wasn't a bad shot. Again, Fournier to the cup. Frank with the block. Nice block by Frank. He hustles up the floor to get it. Looks to post DJ Augustine. Gets an offensive foul. We're talking about hustle. We're talking about defense. These are the principles that we want this team to rely on. And Frank hustles from the opposite side of the floor to get a block. But where's the accountability for everyone else playing defense? We're going to see Fournier take an easy backdoor cut off Dotson to the cup. Get the handoff from Vujovic. Easy layup. No help. Now, here's the one mistake that Frank made in his first five minutes. Lazy pass that was easily picked off. Fournier comes down for the dunk. Now, that's a lazy pass that Frank Nilakina does often. At least too much for my liking. He's got to learn either to get the right angle on the pass, pass it a little bit harder. You can't just float it out there because that's going to get taken every single time in the NBA. Here's my point. Frank played well in that five-minute stretch, in my opinion. Now, people are going to disagree with me and say, well, he, he was 0 for 3. 
that doesn't mean that you didn't play well. He found Hardaway trailing the play. If Hardaway knocks that three down, that's an assist for Frank. Ran that screen and roll with Noah Von Lay. If Von Lay pulls up the mid-range, maybe he knocks it down, another assist for Frank. You seen Frank hustle from one side of the floor to the other to get a block on Fournier. You seen him play two men in a fast break situation on defense. Fournier knocks down the three, but Frank was there. Ladies and gentlemen, I just don't see what Frank did wrong besides miss a couple of shots in that first five minutes to warrant him not playing the rest of the game as opposed to anybody else on the floor. People will say, Sim, you got to have leadership from the point guard position. And I agree wholeheartedly. You got to have leadership from that position. Frank needs to lead from that position. But I seen Frank find a couple of guys in position for them to score. And we just didn't score. We didn't make it. I seen Frank tell some guys where to be on the floor and where to go. You can run back the tape and look at it. There were other plays where Frank was a bystander. And I know people are going to say, well, he has to go get the ball. But you know what? You're not going to have your point guard control every single play every single time. Go look at the best point guards in the league. It does not happen. I do not believe Frank did anything to warrant not playing the rest of the game. Now, I understand about holding players accountable. Frank needs to be held accountable. If Frank is not getting it done, then you don't play him. I understand it. I fully understand it. But also, if this season is about development, you've got to find a way to toe the line. And maybe he has. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But you got to find a way to toe the line. Maybe you say to him, Frank, I'm going to start you this half. And if I don't get from you, boom, 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 then I'm going to pull you. If Fisdale wants the team to be defined by hard work, defense, hustle, then Frank needs to be on the floor. Starting or not starting, he needs to be on the floor. Five minutes doesn't cut it. If those are the principles that this team is going to be based on, Frank personifies those principles. Now, does Frank need to score the ball on the offensive side? Of course he does. I agree 100% with anyone who says that Frank needs to score the ball and he needs to be more efficient. I get it. He's 92 games into his career. Yes, I am more lenient on Frank than I will be on Hardaway, Inez Cantor, or anyone who's been in the league five, six, seven years. I will be more lenient on those younger guys because they're learning the game. So yeah, I will. It doesn't mean that I wouldn't hold them accountable for their actions or for their play. But come on, if you're gonna bring the kid along, you gotta put him on the floor. That's just my opinion, folks. That's what I see. That's what I think. I gladly accept any disagreements, uh, any debates. Leave it in the comments. You know, when I talk back to you in the comments, um, if you like this video, if you enjoyed the video, whether or not you agree with me, if you like it, subscribe to the channel. Hit me with a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Get a notification whenever I go live, whenever a video is dropped. Um, Looking forward to speaking to you guys very soon. Peace.